Christians come together in one place for the Eucharistic Assembly. In the Eucharistic Assembly, Christ is the principal agent of the Eucharist. He is High Priest of every Eucharistic celebration, which is at the same time the sacramental and memorial sacrifice, a thanksgiving to God, and the making presence of Himself for the people of God. If from the beginning Christians have celebrated the Eucharist and in a form whose substance has not changed despite the great diversity of times and liturgies, it is because we know ourselves to be bound by the command the Lord gave on the eve of His Passion. Do this in remembrance of me. We carry out this command of the Lord by celebrating the memorial of His sacrifice. In so doing, we offer to the Father what He has Himself given us, the gifts of His creation, bread and wine, which, by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the words of Christ, have become the body and blood of Christ. Christ thus really and mysteriously made present. We must therefore consider the Eucharist as thanksgiving and praise to the Father, the sacrificial memorial of Christ and His body, the presence of Christ by the power of His Word and of His Spirit. The Eucharist, the sacrament of our salvation, is accomplished by Christ on the cross. In the Eucharistic sacrifice, the whole of creation, loved by God, is presented to the Father through the death and the resurrection of Christ. Through Christ, the Church can offer the sacrifice of praise in thanksgiving for all that God has made good, beautiful and just in creation and in humanity. The Eucharist is a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the Father, a blessing by which the Church expresses her gratitude to God for all His benefits, for all that He has accomplished through creation, redemption and sanctification. Eucharist means, first of all, thanksgiving. The Eucharist is also the sacrifice of praise by which the Church sings the glory of God in the name of all creation. This sacrifice of praise is possible only through Christ. He unites the faithful to His person, to His praise, and to His intercession, so that the sacrifice of praise to the Father is offered through Christ and with Him to be accepted in Him. The Eucharist is the memorial of Christ's Passover, the making present and the sacramental offering of His unique sacrifice in the liturgy of the Church, which is His body. In all the Eucharistic prayers, we find after the words of institution a prayer called the Anamnesis or Memorial. In the sense of sacred scripture, the memorial is not merely the collection of past events, but the proclamation of the mighty works wrought by God for men. In the liturgical celebration of these events, they become, in a certain way, present and real. This is how Israel understands its liberation from Egypt. Every time Passover is celebrated, the Exodus events are made present to the memory of believers so that they may conform their lives to them. In the New Testament, the memorial takes on new meaning. When the Church celebrates the Eucharist, she commemorates Christ's Passover, which makes ever present the sacrifice Christ offered once for all on the cross. 
as often as the sacrifice of the cross by which Christ our past has been sacrificed is celebrated on the altar, the work of our redemption is carried out. Because it is the memorial of Christ's Passover, the Eucharist is also a sacrifice. The sacrificial character of the Eucharist is manifested in the very words of institution. This is my body which is given for you, and this cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. In the Eucharist, Christ gives us the very body which he gave up for us on the cross, the very blood which he poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. The Eucharist is thus a sacrifice because it represents, make present, the sacrifice of the cross. Because it is its memorial and because it applies its fruit, Christ our Lord and God was once and for all to offer himself to God the Father by his death on the altar of the cross to accomplish there an everlasting redemption. But because his priesthood was not to end with his death, at the Last Supper, on the night when he was betrayed, he wanted to leave to his beloved spouse, the Church, a visible sacrifice, as the nature of man demands, by which the bloody sacrifice, which he was to accomplish once for all on the cross, would be represented, its memory perpetuated, until the end of the world, and its salutary power be applied to the forgiveness of the sins we daily commit. The sacrifice of Christ and the sacrifice of the Eucharist are one single sacrifice. The victim is one and the same. The same now offers through the ministry of priests, who then offered himself on the cross. Only the manner of offering is different. In this divine sacrifice, which is celebrated in the Mass, the same Christ who offered himself once in a bloody manner on the altar of the cross is contained and is offered in an unbloody manner. The Eucharist is also the sacrifice of the Church. The Church, which is the body of Christ, participates in the offering of her head. With him, she herself is offered whole and entire. She unites herself to his intercession with the Father for all men. In the Eucharist, the sacrifice of Christ becomes also the sacrifice of the members of his body. The lives of the faithful, their praise, sufferings, prayer and work are united with those of Christ and with his total offering and so acquire a new value. Christ's sacrifice, present on the altar, makes it possible for all generations of Christians to be united with his offering. The whole church is united with the offering and intercession of Christ. Since he has the ministry of Peter in the church, the Pope is associated with every celebration of the Eucharist wherein he is named as the sign of servant of the unity of the universal church. The bishop of the place is always responsible for the Eucharist, even when a priest presides. The bishop's name is mentioned to signify his presidency over the particular church in the midst of his presbyterium and with the assistance of deacons. The community intercedes also for all ministers who, for it and with it, offer the Eucharistic sacrifice. The Eucharist is regarded as legitimate when it is celebrated under the presidency of the bishop or priest to whom he has entrusted it. Through the ministry of priests, the spiritual sacrifice of the faithful is completed 
in union with the sacrifice of Christ, the only mediator, which in the Eucharist is offered through the priest's hands in the name of the whole church, in an unbloody and sacramental manner, until the Lord himself comes. The offering of Christ are united not only the members still here on earth, but also those already in the glory of heaven. In communion with and commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, the Church offers the Eucharistic sacrifice. In the Eucharist, the Church is, as it were, at the foot of the cross with Mary, united with the offering and intercession of Christ. The Eucharistic sacrifice is also offered for the faithful departed who have died in Christ but are not yet wholly purified, so that they may be able to enter into the light and peace of Christ. Put this body anywhere. Don't trouble yourselves about it. I simply ask you to remember me at the Lord's altar wherever you are. In the intercessory prayer during the Mass, we also pray for the Holy Fathers and bishops who have fallen asleep, and in general for all who have fallen asleep before us, in the belief that it is a great benefit to the souls on whose behalf the supplication is offered, while the holy and tremendous victim is present. By offering to God our supplications for those who have fallen asleep, if they have sinned, we offer Christ's sacrifice for the sins of all, and so render the favorable for them and for us, the God who loves man. Please go to Retimentality YouTube channel, Playlist Sacraments, to watch all the five videos on the Eucharist. We will begin the fourth part of the five-part series in the next video, we focus on the presence of Christ in the Eucharist at the Pascal Banquet.